Welcome back to Screenos with Uriah and me, Stephen, your host, bringing you our thoughts on all things film and TV. Today, we're going to be taking a look at The Mandalorian Chapter 12, titled The Siege. This is the fourth episode of the second season of The Mandalorian, written by Jon Favreau and directed by Carl Weathers. Let me get your general thoughts on this episode. Overall, I'd probably have to give it a C or a 70% score. Uh, because I didn't really like the pace or anywhere it was going. It really brought us back to the first season's characters. And you could kind of tell where the director wanted to go with more of a um, remnant or whatever the last season and putting his own character in. That's something I've noticed that a lot of directors like to do, put put themselves in their own movies or, or things. Uh, just because, I guess, it's a lot of work and they get to they get to show off or something, but he is a character in the show. Uh, but I was actually surprised that Carl Weathers actually directed it because I didn't know he was a director. I thought he was just an actor. What did you think? Um, so this is really definitely a call of back to basics. This is a filler episode to a degree. They brought back some old characters. Uh, mm-hmm. They didn't really. They did some adding to the lore and like what's going on. Yeah. He kind of takes a stop from his journey to finding Ahsoka to do this quest, which I guess is okay. It's more of a filler for the most part with just a little bit sprinkled in for more lore. Yeah. And we also get to see Mithril again and the blue alien from the first episode of season one. <laughs> yeah. He was kind of annoying, not going to lie. but I liked him, yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, I guess I get where he's coming from. I had sympathy for him. I always felt bad that he got taken. But now, the catch by the Mandalorian. I say. Oh, oh, yeah, and carbonated. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I really liked. Um, I really liked this part in this episode, at least this time. Yeah. Uh, especially, especially how he had the little speeder. I liked that. Mm. And uh, I was watching this episode with another friend, and. He said you could hear you could hear um him lock his car like a real car. It was so funny. Hmm. It went beep beep. That's funny. Yeah. So I'm just gonna skip to the middle of the episode just because I want to talk about this one part. Um, but in the middle of the episode, we're greeted with them getting out of the speeder, and the blue alien like hacking or something. Or, and while that's going on, Mandalorian. Or the Mandalorian, sorry, goes up onto like the top ledge of the facility, and throws a stormtrooper off, and the stormtrooper lands right next to them. Me and my friend thought that was the Mandalorian, and we lost it. <laughs> we thought it was so funny because we heard, ah! and we thought it was the Mandalorian, <laughs> like they were too good for him or something, but it wasn't him. But it was hilarious. So the Mandalorian, the child, head back to Navarro after the Mon Calamari repairs the ship proved to be inadequate. Uh, they reunite with Grief Karga and Cara Dune and Mithra, obviously, and they find out about an Imperial base, so they go yeah. over there to blow it up, basically. Mm-hmm. Like you said before, it really does bring in a lot of lore, I'd say, or even more of the story. I think it uh, sprinkles because, it in more. Right, because when they get to the facility, they're shooting all these stormtroopers, and again, we get the nice hallway... Uh, and then it ends up in a laboratory, right? Yes. And all these different creatures. It was like Clutch Powers all over again. If you haven't seen Clutch Powers, you got to go see it. It's a great yes. movie. Yes, fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. I mean, animation's out of this world. Uh, but they end up in a laboratory, and they find out that they were using Baby Yoda like to extract things from Baby Yoda, right? Or something or about his force powers. Yeah. So they're trying. They were trying to like extract something from there, and we learned that Moff Gideon is still alive, which I think a lot of us already knew, right? Yes, we already knew from last season. Yeah. So, oh right, right, yeah, because he just gets out of the typewriter. Uh, but man, the Mandalorian didn't really seem phased by him being still alive, right? I don't think he did. No, he was pretty phased. He was. He thought oh, he was, was dead. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he didn't know he was. Okay, and then. After that, they they go like to this volcano, basically, or maybe that was before. Sorry, uh, and like, there's like a reactor, and you gotta like turn it off, and then it like blows the whole facility up, right? So I 
cooling system. Yeah, that was interesting. After they arrive to the deactivate, they need to go in and deactivate the cooling system, blow up the base, and pretty much just get out of there. They go do that. Some good raid action, especially some great jetpack action, which I yeah. personally really enjoyed watching. One thing that I do not really like about this season is that there's a lot of stormtroopers, and I, it. I guess we're realizing that it. Uh, Moff Gideon's remnant is bigger because a pretty big remnant, but I like the idea of small remnants where they don't have like a bunch of disposable stormtroopers, just hundreds of them able to be cannon fodder. I like the idea of being a small faction, which we also yeah. saw in the last episode a lot of stormtroopers small, just getting killed. Small fleet. Yeah. And I I guess since like they they obviously they obviously could have recruited more people or more stormtroopers uh, since since the fall of the empire whatever it's called, uh, but I mean considering the amount of employees or whatever you want to call them, uh, army people, uh, that were, uh, serving the empire before the Death Star blew up, I I would say there there had to have been at least maybe. 700 800 left altogether there was plenty of, see there's plenty of stormtroopers after even the second death star was destroyed the thing was most of them in the new canon were destroyed by during the battle of Jakku, where almost the entire rem what was left of the empire was destroyed oh. those that survived either went into the unknown regions and would form the first order or in moff gideon's play Case, into the unknown yeah. seem to be doing pretty well for themselves for just being just a remnant. And then the scout troopers come out on their speeders. I thought that was a cool scene. That was pretty cool. That was awesome. That was the yeah. animation was gorgeous. And it was interesting or interesting, sir. Uh because when they go off the ledge of the thing, they're just literally like there's nothing keeping them from just falling and like hitting the ground as hard as possible. I mean, maybe a little bit of the hover, but you can definitely see that they're like hitting the ground. It's 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 nice and realistic and it's kind of cool. Yeah. Ooh, I could eat a hot dog right now. That'd be nice. Sorry. So then at the end, uh, the X-wing pilot or something comes and helps out or something. And he he kind of acts like a cop in this one. I guess they are cops now, but they, yeah, he was kind of like a. They they call in just so they can report it. Yeah. So, and he was there and he talked to the girl because she was back. Do you know her name? I don't really know her name. Cara Dune. Yeah. And he's like, you know, any time you want to join, you're allowed to. You know, classic Pixar Disney mm -hmm. thing. And she was like, I don't know, man. And then he left her a little badge at the end. And me and my friend said that it was, it'd be funny if it was a bomb. And it just blew up the whole brain. <laughs> That would be pretty funny. I I think that'd be funny. Fitting into her oh, character. From, she's from um Alderaan, right? Yes. Yeah. They they mentioned that they mentioned she was an alt from Alderaan, which Yes. Yeah. Which blew up. Uh, thank you for watching our face. Uh subscribe. Um uh, that's up to you. Leave a like. Comment what you liked about this podcast. Be more right? enthusiastic. Okay. Uh, comment what you liked about this podcast because we're gonna we're gonna do another ah! podcast soon. Right? Ah! Remember to keep your masks on because it could save lives. And that's sponsored by the CDC.